This is the Fotrick TD2 acoustic imaging camera. It's an incredible device that allows us to visualize and see sound. First, let's crack open the packaging. Inside, we are presented with the quick start manual, a USB-C cable for data transfer and charging, various power adapters for different countries and regions, and the main TD2 unit itself, with an exchangeable battery that allows for up to four hours of runtime, with with an array of 64 microphones in a digital uh, camera in the center. This unit compiles the audio data and visual data collected by these uh, sensors and compiles them into one image. This allows us to see the pinpoint location of specific sounds from a range of around 0.3 to 100 meters. The camera has an extremely wide range of hearing, allowing it to pick up ultrasonic signals that are inaudible to the human ear. Therefore, it can detect leaks in compressed air systems, vacuum system leaks, abnormal noises from sources of friction or loose equipment, thereby reducing safety hazards and uh, reducing wear-related costs. The camera weighs in at only 770 grams, making it highly compact and lightweight. It's perfect for tight situations or long-term use. This is about the same as a bottle of water. It can be hung on the waist, allowing for easy access and improving work efficiency. At the front is a 3.5 inch touchscreen display, and below are the basic operation functions, such as button for power, flashlight, gallery, and return. Last in the middle, there is a navigation button, along with the enter button, and a customizable AI button for frequently used shortcuts, allowing for improved efficiency when navigating the device. At the top, we have a USB-C micro SD card slot and a uh, micro HDMI port. At the front of the device, there are also a pair of LED lights that act as a flashlight, greatly improving usability in low light conditions. Now let's long press the power button to turn on the device. Now with our TT2 unit turned on, I'll run us through the feature set of this device. If we slide down from the top, we can reveal some shortcut functions, such as turning on the flashlight, adjusting the screen brightness, and changing the volume. By clicking on the top right corner of the screen, it brings up this uh, slider, which allows us to set the frequency in which we are trying to detect. Notice that all of the, uh, to use this function, you need to enable the frequency configuration uh, function in the settings, such as by default, there is the default audible sound and ultrasound, this enables an extra little button that lets us set, uh, for example here, we will set test. It lets us set our selected range. So now there's a extra button for um, our previously selected range. Most functions are concentrated in the menu bar at the bottom of the display. First is the sound source mode. This includes a single uh, point, multi-point, and holographic view. You can choose different sound sources according to different application scenarios. The second is acoustic image focusing. When you enable it, it blocks sound interference from outside of the circle and focuses sound localization from within the circle. In the settings, you can adjust the focusing range. The third is measurement tools. You can adjust the distance between the acoustic imager and the measured point to increase measurement accuracy. Uh, before adjustment, you can enable sound pressure level normalization settings in the functions. After enabling the measurement tools in the settings, more functions can be activated, such as adding measurement points or measurement areas. The fourth option is the color palette. There are three options. In our palettes, we can change the palette of the main audio spot. This allows uh, easier navigation. Um, if you need, say you're in a busy environment, you can change the uh, digital image that the display is seeing to black and white or you can change the opacity of the spot. For example, if you're in a busy environment, once again, you might want to set your spot to 100%, but if you're using hologram mode, you want to set it to less, so the, it's clear. Um, finally, as shown earlier, there are the main settings. If you would like to learn more about the Fotrick TD2 acoustic imaging camera, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching.